<laughs> I got Uh, yeah, it sounds good. I like it. I sound... <coughs> oh, shit! Hey y'all. You say in gaming? Oh, uh, you know that new COD uh, drop. Uh, I think it was Thursday. Uh, you said can't hear peaches. Uh, it looked like chat said they can't hear you, but I can. Okay. All right. I'm here, y'all. I'm sorry about that. Right. <laughs> but it got a crown on you. <laughs> you go, King. I like it. <laughs> um. Hey, uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, chat say they hear you now. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the new card dropped uh, Thursday. Um, I played a little bit of that off stream. Um, and, you know, so far I like it. Okay, yeah, I've been watching everybody play it and modding for people. They're getting addicted to it. It does look really good. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm definitely going to be grinding, grinding uh, it out, you know, off stream. And I may play a little bit of, a little bit of it on stream. It just depends on if I have time. Um, trying to rotate in uh, into my regular stream schedule. What about you? What what have you been playing off stream, or um, you know when you have time? A little Forza, some Dead by Daylight, and mm -hmm. um, a little bit of uh, regular the regular Warzone. Play a little bit. I'm trying regular to get Yeah, uh, okay. not the two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Any any W so far? Uh, not really. Okay. I'm just playing by myself. I haven't been playing with a crew. Okay. So, but it was fun. I had a lot of fun. I was just a little rusty, so I wanted to do some kitchen up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like your uh, costume. Uh, Thank so you. you. So can you explain it? Explain your costume. I keep the horns up. All right. It's <laughs> a it's a demon slayer anime character. And, uh, oh. Okay. Mixed with a little bit of uh, trying to think of the name of the other anime, but it's it's not one I I don't think any PG people would know. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a henna and it's mixed with a little bit of Demon Slayer. Okay, so, yeah, it's dope. I like it. I'll see you. I'll see you the link. But it's actually a really good uh, anime. So yeah. Hello. Um, I hope there are, I'm sure some of y'all remember my cosplay from Thursday. This is it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so I hope y'all having a good day. Yes. Thank you so much, Satoshi. I appreciate you. But yeah, I hope I shouted everybody out. Um, I took it off the screen so y'all can hear us talking. Uh, 
Can y'all hear Nano well, really well? I hope so. I just don't want the music to overpower you. Oh, I got you. Yeah. All right, so now that we talked about a little <coughs> bit of COD, and I hope everybody's enjoying COD, I have noticed y'all have been enjoying it. Y'all scared me, though. I'm scared to try it. Because I might get addicted to it, and I won't be able to mod. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I'm sorry, uh, a couple of people dropped out today because they didn't know some of the movies, but we are here to discuss a couple of movies with you today that 901 picked out. We have, uh, Fright Night with David Tennant, mm -hmm. uh, lady's favorite, and then you have, uh, The New Candyman, and, uh, 901, have you seen the original Candyman? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, that'll be something good to compare to because I've seen all of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a New yeah. Orleans legend. I love it. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then the last one was, what was the movie? It's uh, Cry Place 2. Cry Place 2. And you've seen one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have seen one. Okay. Yeah, I remember the meme going around for the first one. That was, you know, that was uh, really got me into it, the meme. Yeah. yeah. Natasha says New Candyman was different for me. So yeah, for sure. Yes, it was very different. It was more political based. I did mm -hmm. not like that about it. Mm. Um, I get why they did it, but yeah, yeah, I didn't like the the political thing. It took the whole legend, something about the legend, away from it. Mm. Um, when you go back to the original story, it also had. Um, the racism card it had a, a lot of the the backstory is similar but mm -hmm. the, the new generation one seemed a little too political for me to really grasp yeah. and enjoy <clears throat> it took away from the movie the horror of it yeah i agree mm -hmm. i agree because the first one was um was was like like for me it was like super scary yeah, it was super scary yeah. you didn't know what to expect it was actually him doing the killing you saw him doing it mm -hmm. and this one they left it kind of like a mystery yeah and i didn't like that i didn't like how they did it um okay, okay. Oh, well, going, uh, okay. all right so so since we own candy man since we own candy man uh so so you mentioned that you you didn't like the the political uh, surround it yeah. but i i read it uh i read it so so based on um the guy that made uh what's that the get out well get out so he he pretty much you know add political in there because he, he the type of writer that love to drop like clues on what's actually going on in today's society surrounding like you know of course you know police brutality you know surrounding like uh the color of your skin and things like that um i i i kind of get why he did it um and i really i really think it was uh well i really was hoping like it was more like horror yeah like the first one was yeah, you know. I mean, the, the original, when he comes in there and he opens his coat and there's the bees everywhere and it's like, ugh, you can't really kill him. Mm. He's already dead and it's just like, yeah. I'm here, what you gonna do about it? I love the entrances in the original. This one, it was kind of, it was down, he was downplayed. He was like in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. It, it really did. I guess you can, if you look at it as a prequel to a series mm -hmm. of movies, then maybe it could work. I just, I still don't see it as hard <laughs> at this point because it almost seems like he's the victim. Yeah, and, uh, and it's uh, somebody mentioned in the chat that it's the hood boogie man. Now, uh, <laughs> Peaches, <laughs> Peaches, as a kid, now you can't, you can't tell me. You know, you and your cousin or friends, you guys then make a bet like, hey man, I bitch can't make, well, say candy man five times in the mirror. Uh, like, not, growing I, up as. I couldn't. Uh, you uh, couldn't? No. Uh, I couldn't, and I didn't. Now, we did do <laughs> Bloody Mary. We did Bloody Mary, you know. <laughs> 
at with the carry movies. Um, yeah. <laughs> but even with that, I ran out. Of, I ran out of the bathroom at a certain point. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Stay. I left them in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I. Mm. You good? Uh, so no, I couldn't because um, growing up around uh, a lot of New Orleans people, mm. Candyman is is true. It is very close to us. Mm. It's, it's very real. So mm. you're not gonna see that, and then also you'll see if you ever go to a lot of people in New Orleans homes, if you ever have family that live there. If you are from that, from New Orleans, Louisiana area, you're not gonna see a lot of mirrors everywhere. And even when someone no. passes away, we cover our mirrors. Like it's it's a thing. We cover the mirrors when they pass away in the home. Um, we believe that mirrors are a portal. They're a gateway. So with that in mind and that superstition in mind, we try mm -hmm. to uh, stay clear of certain beliefs, like certain uh, and, myths. Yeah. And and you know what? Speaking of mirrors, like I remember, cause like growing up in the South and my uh, my grand, you know, your grandparents and stuff. I remember like my grandma, she only probably had like one mirror. In, in the whole house and like uh i know that like i remember growing up thinking that <laughs> yeah it was it it was it was it it was in the restroom and my sister used to used to try to sneak like you know those little portable mirrors in the house and my grandma used to have a fit like that that that's really explains it now oh, and yeah. you know uh the superstition like you know you break a mirror it's like what oh, seven yeah. years of bad luck mm -hmm. to this day i i'm scared <laughs> i'm scared of like breaking a mirror oh no but but, but yeah that's, that. Yeah. it definitely explains it yeah no um that is going back into the roots of even candy man candy man goes mm -hmm. back to um African faith, Af African belief that came from Africa that the slaves had. Um, mm. Mirrors were something that are black mirrors, as they call them now. Um, right. mo multiple faiths were actually used to contact the dead and to contact the spirit world. Mm. So that has been passed down from generation to generation, um, mm -hmm. basically as a warning. Like, hey, you know, if you have to use a mirror to brush your teeth, comb your hair, you do it. But other than that, no, you stay away from it. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not really. And also it goes into the vanity issue. You know, the vanity, you know, you're not supposed to be vain. And you're not supposed to stare at yourself and have all these things yeah. going on. So, yeah, a, a lot of cultures in New Orleans, no matter their yeah. religion, mirrors are a no-no. I mean, mm. and some people, uh, certain practitioners of certain faiths, I'm not getting into details of, of religions, uh, actually put a mirror at the front door. Like, you mm. might go to some houses and they had a mirror in that living room where as soon as you walk in, you see yourself. And that mm. is the word of evil. Because the belief is with vampires and, and other uh, demonic forces, it's believed mm -hmm. that if you're possessed by them, they don't want to see themselves in a the mirror. Because oh, yeah, they that's, can see yeah. their true self. And so, that's in some homes, you will notice, they may have an extra mirror, but it's facing the door. And mm. that's pretty much to ward off evil. Mm. So, yeah, uh, yeah that's yeah. a... <laughs> yeah, my, uh, like, like, my big mama, when she was alive, she, she had a mirror, like, it was, like, in the front door. It was in, in the front living area. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as a kid, I, I never... I never thought about it like that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's belief well, behind it. And it's the old people. It's the older people that know about all of these traditions <coughs> and beliefs mm -hmm. and uh, practices. And the younger generation now, they're lost. They don't have any knowledge that's of right. it. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But Candyman, the, the new one, I wanted it to come back and bring some of that folklore. And... Yeah. And let people say, okay, let me go back and look at the history of Candyman and mm -hmm. see what it's about. But it actually took away from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and and, and, and. Oh, you can go and talk. Yeah, and speaking of like you know Candyman weakness, um, it one of his weakness was mirrors mm -hmm. and poetry, you know. And they put him in a mirror in this one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, they, so they changed it. 
they changed. Yeah. And what is it like so, about the original? The original, I like. Oh man, like <laughs> it's like you know the horror. Uh, um. Uh, you know, just you know, just remember like thinking as a kid, like how <laughs> I, I remember that first movie first came. Well, I don't remember first came out. I'm, I was actually a kid, kid. <laughs> But you know, my I remember like my my brother and sister they going to see the movie and they coming back to the house like they was like making the bet with with us uh, like you know I bet y'all won't go in the in the restroom and say Candyman three times or five times whatnot and you know I just go in there and say Candyman Candyman and of course when I used to open the door and leave the restroom you know they was just scared the hell out of me. Um, but you know, I um, I like the horror, uh, the original, uh, <laughs> and actually had you know uh, just a story behind it. Um, it was it was like it was like a lot of blood. Well, yeah, a lot of bloodshed. Uh, it, it had like really really had jump scare. Um, yeah, it was just it was just all around all around good movie. And usually, like the original movies, uh, be the best anyway. So, uh, I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what I really like about it. What say, about you? The first one, the first two, the first two. So there was three. The first two? What? I That's didn't know. I, I, I just yeah. seen one. Oh yeah, that was more than one. They dropped the ball on three, but one and two. I didn't see three. Okay, I'm gonna have to look them up because I can still get them and put them in the Discord. Uh, yeah. yeah, it goes further into his story. Um, but yeah, the original Candyman, I, I love the backstory, how they explained how he was wrongly um, KO'd and how he um, became the Candyman. Uh, mm. If you haven't seen it, spoilers, in the original Candyman, they, he's in love with the master's daughter. And right, yep, I wrote that down. Mm -hmm. They have a relationship, and uh, it's found out because she's pregnant. So, of course, they blame him. And so, he is killed. He was an artist. He, he worked on things for them, and he was a, a very talented individual. And so, they remove his hand, and then they cover him in, in honey, and uh, let the bees come and eat him, and they hang him from a tree. Okay, so that was the story of Candyman, the original, which was back in the slave days. Yeah. Um, and so from that, he comes back as Candyman. He, he's covered in honey, so he's sweet, because back then they didn't have candy like now. So mm -hmm. honey was their candy. It was dried up honey, and, and they put it in little tiny balls, and that was the candy for the slaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had the bees. That's where the bees come from in the original, was the bees that were attracted to the honey. Mm -hmm. And so they, they stung him all over, and they messed him up, you know. And that's, he died a very painful, painful death. And uh, the hook in the hand came from his death, really. He was he lost his hand and because of his job they actually when he came back he used the hook for his other hand to kill the people to KO the people excuse me so yeah, yeah that's the original story of it I like it it made sense um, and then it fast forwards to New Orleans and mm -hmm. the city and his ancestors which is his daughter's daughter's daughter and mm. he's basically getting revenge. It's a revenge story. But the mm -hmm. tale is told over and over that he will take vengeance out on anybody who um, calls upon his name. Reason being, as he was dying, the people, um, the masses people, we'll put it that way, called him Candyman because of the honey. And, and it's yeah. stuck with him. It's like you're teasing him. See, that's what you don't get mm -hmm. about the from the new movie, from that one. Mm -hmm. It is an insult to him. It is an insult to him to call him that. So yeah. Yeah, that's why he come back and... Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like it's like bullying, you know. It's, it's like bullying much. him. You yeah. know, you're bullying the person you persecuted. You know, right. you're, de you're defacing him. You're denaming him. You're giving him because back then all the slave had was their name, their title. Mm -hmm. And yeah. once you remove that from them, they're no longer a person. And mm -hmm. that's the backstory to why he does what he does. And I think that was lost in the new movie. And I think that's what I love most about the original is it's based in actual history. It's, it's based yeah. in actual mm -hmm. uh, things that happened back in the day. Um, yeah. And I forgot the name of the original person uh, it happened to, but it is in the New Orleans Historical uh, Museum. Mm -hmm. But he was an actual person. It did happen to him. And he was... He was a I heard about worker that, exactly. and he was an artist. Yeah. So yes, uh, he he is based off that story is based off a real person. So yeah. if y'all ever in New Orleans, y'all can always go to the New Orleans Museum of History and Art, <laughs> and he will there will be a painting of him and a picture. So. See, man, like one one thing I love about New Orleans, like it's uh like the history, it's the like New Orleans got so so much history. So so much, and we're proud of it. I mean, we're proud of it. <clears> oh yeah, you should you be. Know? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people um, aren't originally from the USA, but they carry the mm -hmm. history with them. Well, in New Orleans, our history is a part of us every day, and everything mm -hmm. we do and how we treat people is is embedded in our in our soul. I have to say because. You will find people in New Orleans that don't know you, have never seen you before, and they'll invite you to dinner, and they will mm. go hang out with you, and they will party with you just because you're a tourist, because they want you to mm. enjoy the city and have fun, because yeah. the the belief of Southern hospitality is real here. We treat mm -hmm. you as family until you give us a reason not to. And I, mm. think, I think that's something that a lot of people and tourists don't realize. Uh, they do have a bad element here, just like everywhere. Uh, mm -hmm. But when you meet the older generations, like the 40s and up, you know, the, sometimes in the 30s and up, we were taught mm -hmm. from our nanas and our parents, with uh, grandmothers, grandfathers, godparents. We were taught uh, Southern hospitality. We were taught that you don't close the door, you open the door. You know, mm. and we do it through food. We do it through music. We do it through socializing and having a good time. That is our culture. And mm -hmm. look, yeah. in New Orleans, it's kind of like every day is a party. If we can find an excuse to get off work and party, best believe we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe it. Uh, like looking at like Mardi Gras and all that. Oh, Mardi Gras uh, is a month long. See, y'all don't realize that. Yeah, it's, think it's, yeah a it's a month long. Yeah. I know, we be off yeah. work a long time. <laughs> <laughs> we, have paid, we have paid Mardi Gras time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Mardi I've never Gras. been to New Orleans. i oh, never been. Whenever you do come down, let me know. I will. I, show, will. I will show you the site. You, you and your family have a great time. Hey, Zella, how you doing? <laughs> Y'all want to see this? Y'all want to see this? All right, let's uh, just make it a bit. Uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> you got something to say about Candyman? Y'all, yeah, I'm about to be, I'm about to be like talking over in uh, Peach's channel real fast. Cause I told her I was gonna go over there, so I'm about to go over there and talk to him for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man of my word. Dallas ain't said he gonna drop through there. That's what Dallas ain't gonna do. He gonna drop through there. You understand? All right, give me a second, y'all. Hold up, hold up. I'm about to. I have to do this the right way. Oh, I did this. For my camera. How you doing, Val? Ooh, it's I, so I shiny. Make, I, I, oh, can I rub it? I, oh, can I rub it? Oh, yeah, hell yeah, you can rub my head anytime you feel like it. Hold up, bro, I'm coming. Wait, 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 hold up. What you got to say about uh, Candyman? Me and Nano want to discuss in Candyman, the original versus the new one. Oh, discussing Candyman. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure no biggie looking yeah. around for the cameras. Candy. There are no Man. mirrors in there, are there? Yeah. <laughs> uh-uh, ain't, ain't no He from no, New no Orleans, y'all. He, he, oh, yeah. he Louisiana boy. Look, he knows. Cause the, re the reason why we over here right now is because I told Peaches that I would be, I would show my face. And it's nice to know that she got 9 on one the game up up in there. But we over there doing some uh, Call of Duty and stuff. And 
Um, I just want to, you know, step in and give my take <laughs> on that movie real fast. Yeah, Candyman. Candyman. Candy Candy it, <laughs> hell no, nah, shit, I'm scared <laughs> as hell. I don't know a grown up. I don't know a grown up right now. This little change of paces, y'all. Change of pace. That's that's not on one the gamer right there. That's Peaches. Let me get a shout out for Peaches in the chat. She is streaming this right now. Uh, and then y'all, you know, go with it, get a little bit more of on, on her side of this perspective as well. We we only gonna stay for a little while, chat. So I know y'all want to see some Call of Duty. We're gonna let we're you gonna... and Nana want to say what you gotta say about Candyman, and then we are going to discuss Fright Night. Fright Night. But the first thing I want to do is I want to tell I want to tell the world that uh, to put your tongue back in your mouth. Don't do that. No, no, no. I ain't looking. I'm not looking. Okay. I'm on my bitties. You want to... <laughs> Hold up. That's a... Say less. Say less. Say. Give me my bitties. Fuck. He said he give you me bitties. Some... You you want some bitties? I'm about to say, I'm about to give you some bitties. Yeah, I'm about to give Peaches some bitties. How many How many bitties should I give Peaches? Five, five hundred. Five hundred bitties? That's yeah. it? Oh, ten hundred. Yeah, ten thousand. Ten thousand bitties? <laughs> I said I do it. I said I do it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because she was supposed to be in my DM and I never I never got the DM, so I, I don't I know. Never said 500. <laughs> <laughs> I I I, I, you know, I never you know, I never. You know, Twitch gonna be in their feelings, but that's all right. I want my bitties. I never got the uh, <laughs> the the what's her face. You know, I, I never got that that other thing I was talking about. What the foot? Yeah, I, ne I never I got I never got the foot. These world, these world never sent the foot picture. He ain't never put. He was supposed to put Valentine's uh, head on my big toe. What girl? Your the big toe. Oh. My big toe. The, yes. the way you said that though. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture of my feet and put it in my Discord, y'all. Y'all gonna get to see my pretty feet. I have some gorgeous feet, y'all. Got some gorgeous other stuff too, but we ain't gonna talk about it. But look, um, I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave that by itself. Uh, <laughs> but let me let me let me just switch the title to the stream real fast. But we're we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna switch it to podcast, right? Because I'm gonna be in here for just 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 a little while, just to show my face. I love that crown. Not a wonder gamer. I love that crown. I also love the stuff you've been doing out there in the world too. I've been checking you, you out. Me. I've been checking you. Oh, you looking good out there? The only thing that's separate like, all like from that, me man. is I don't have a background. Like my background is full of PC parts. So um, <laughs> it's all good. Y'all, she y'all getting y'all PC or preparing to get y'all PC? I'm about to give. I'm about to build one. Uh, in a little bit, as soon as the parts get here between today and tomorrow, I'm gonna build one. I also had the parts for two more on the floor that I did not build, mm -hmm. but um, I'm gonna build them out because I, I believe people may want to buy them in the, in the, in the near future. Um, what am I? What am I? I was doing some other stuff right now, but chat, look at here, look at here, man. We got we got the beautiful peaches right here too. Who gonna buy? Who said they gonna buy one off? Who said it? Who said? It? Who? Oh, pimp limp. Well, the way you said it, I was looking for some old lady to say something. What pimp limp at? You, you in the, you in a voice chat or something? Oh, I'm still in the game. That's why. Let me turn my voice chat off. Shut up. Okay. Well, look, I'm just over here talking trash. Okay, I'm gonna talk trash for a little bit. It sucks. it sucks. I really man. like. Um, I really think it was a. It, it was a pretty good movie. Um, like the new one wasn't as scary as the one I saw, the original. Um, but overall, it was a good movie. And um, I think uh, the person who wrote it was, I think it was Jordan Peele, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, Peaches. Yeah. Yeah, the guy who wrote uh who wrote um Get Out, you know. Yeah, and um Yeah, oh, Get see, Out was See y'all know movies though, so this is not fair. Y'all actually pay attention y'all watch movies. <laughs> Me when I watch the movies I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm really paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Last time, like when we Thank watched the movie the last time I had, you know, my, my wife started messing with me, so she was paying attention. I wasn't. Uh so you know they're not watching the peaches peaches got to get on start saying stuff and i'm trying to watch the movie in the discord with her 
and then distract me and stuff. And then now I don't want to be streaming, trying to. I don't know yeah. how you already seen the movie already. And yeah. then I'm trying to do all the stuff at one time, so I have no take on that movie. The only thing I know is I'm scared. I never say that that word three times <laughs> because I don't want to die that night. All right, I totally believe it. It's a bunch of other stuff I won't say three times a night. I won't even say Beetlejuice three times because I don't want to show up and be all crazy. Uh, uh, sorry, Peaches. Hey, Peaches, uh, uh, someone in the chat said that it, um, they can't hear you, so I'm just letting can, you know. They can hear Peaches. Yeah. They can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you as well. Hey, a hey, person that can't hear Peaches, Peaches, oh, uh, I need you to turn your, <laughs> turn your mic on. Turn your headset on. Just, just turn he your said headset say on, Peaches sir. three times. All right, I changed uh, it to my eight. other mic just in case. I ain't going to say Peaches three times. She's going to pop up here in that damn demon <laughs> costume and I ain't going to let her leave. So, yeah, that's how it. What's up, Killer Man? Yeah, what's going on, man? I'm just having a little sit down with, with Peaches, 901 The Gamer, and uh, myself. Then we're going to get back to some COD in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I... I totally forgot when you said your when you said your you podcast said you at eleven. I was like all deep into the game and stuff. So if I agreed to be here, that means I was doing something I had no business doing. I was looking at fur, furry porn or something. Mm. She like that. You, see, you, you saw that face she made. <laughs> Peaches like that. <laughs> Peaches, you big old freak you. <laughs> She's like, baby? I want the video look, too. Look. Look, look, say, where, where my bitties? Where my bitties? Oh, that's right. I forgot to order them. Okay, here we go. I want my bitties. Everybody want my bitties. Why, why you want your bitties? I only get bitties because I owe you bitties. All right, so pieces, uh, what score will you give? Um, if if you can give Candyman a score, what score? The new one, uh, my crown falling. Uh, um, five. What score? A five. Okay, only and because, original. Only because I agree with what the point was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, and I I like the original Candyman, but. As a slasher film, I give it a five. Mm-hmm. As a message movie, I give it a seven. And as an overall Candyman film, yeah, definitely just a five. Because the original was a, a, a nine out of ten with slasher and, and everything. I loved it. Okay. There, you, there you go. I, I gave you some biddies now. So Thank stop you. asking for biddies. Give you some biddies. That's that's that, that that's my G right there. That's why she get to get bitty. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Feels like raid me when you go like, girl. I'm on for like to like three thirty today. What you mean? <laughs> I, 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 I do. I do plan on. I know you could have rated me back, but we just gonna bring. They know where I am. We just gonna bring everybody over to Peach's stream. So if you and Peach's stream right now, say hi and Peach's stream. Y'all go over there. Say hi. I can't talk in her chat. You can't talk in her chat. Oh, oh, that, that's because we're, uh, you know, he this sh- is. Everybody like... should be able to talk in the chat. I don't have uh, emote or subscribe on it. Yeah, so y'all yeah, should be able in, to come on in there. And in there, say something. Unless you banned. Uh, you if banned, you're, if you, you are in the, M- only the podcasters can come up in the podcast though. So uh, they're trying talking, to, yeah, they're probably talking about Discord. If you're trying, are you Ellie? Wait, Ellie is on a is a podcaster. I love your face. I just want you to know that I, 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 I love your face, <laughs> Allie. Just keep doing amazing, keep doing amazing thing. Don't ever dress up like Peaches is right now. She knows to touches my buttons. At least it's so, not yeah, the naughty nun. I was gonna be the naughty nun, but I couldn't uh, find my dress was, to go with it. You were jiggling too much that night. I don't want that again. I, don't, <laughs> I, don't want that. I could. I forgot all yeah, my he questions. Likes going on. He likes nuns. Mm. How about we don't talk about the movies, just talk about each other? <laughs> I like talking about myself. Y'all want to talk about each other? Let's... Well, it's not a one's thing tonight, so whatever he want to do. What you want to do, not a one a game? What you want to do? Not a one. Hey, y'all, let's admit, not a one a game over there looking good as a mother, though, ain't he? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. We got the shades on. And sh- Yo, uh, hey, I'm, 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 I'm securing my sexuality, so this mother looking good. Y'all see him? Look at him. Miss T, you know. Mr. T going I mean, on. You got the chains, you got the you got the the, 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 the hat on the chest and going on. You got the, the V neck going on. And I was like, all right, man, you I'm, I'm so happy you ain't got no boobs. And hey, man, um, me too. 
Oh, y'all know once Valisane get up in this mud, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna, it's gonna be All crazy. Right. We gonna change the topic. I'm gonna well, do stuff well, that Peaches don't want me to do. We gonna keep changing it back though. Nah, no, what, uh, what movie you wanna talk about now? Uh, I mean, no, I'm, no, 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 no. We ain't talking about no movies because I ain't watch. Let's go to Fright Night. <laughs> Alright, we gonna go to Fright Night. <laughs> Fright, uh, Fright Night Saint. So, Fright Saint, Night. uh, Fright yeah, Night Fright Night. Like, Have you heard of Fright Night? It's a vampire. I heard, movie. I, I heard, of Fright, yeah, I don't like movie. vampires. Fright Night. <laughs> you say what now? What you say? Fright Night sucks. Mm. You never saw it. I the original it or the old one? Well, I, I said the original or the so old the one. The original or the a, new one. That's a 1985 American supernatural right. horror film. Toga P, get your butt up out of here. Ain't nobody say you come to him. <laughs> That Toga P late. My Toga P. Yo, yo, yo. I'm here. I just woke up. Like just woke up. <laughs> and then we got the 2011 uh, Fright Night. Is that, is that the one we were talking about? Right? That's that's the one. One. Uh, with David Tennant. God damn, the black Spider-Man that popped in. What's up? It's a What's cosplay up? podcast. Wait, wow. It's a black who, who is not a one to go cosplay with ass? <laughs> I'm a, um, I'm, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a king. I'm saying today. I'm I'm cosplaying as Valor Saint. What? <laughs> There's a lot of young kids that 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 got my costume right now. You know, There's a lot of young kids got my costume. <laughs> no, they wear my costume. You know who he is? Who am I? You're the, you're the serial Spain? killer because you know the the serial killers always look like everybody else. Yeah, you're right. They don't yeah. want to stand out. Who, who you gonna be? Which serial killer you gonna be? <laughs> oh my god. Damn, I got that mic off on that one. Like, what the hell wrong with you? Don't be saying that, man. You got to say that my damn door and shit. But don't be exposing my secret. Damn background, background and shit, because it's messing around with you and shit. This shit is ridiculous. <laughs> Y'all don't see where I'm at. I like the blurred background. You can't see all my bullshit that I got back there. You ain't send me the way to do that. What's his name? Morris Morales or something? Morris Morales? Miles Morales? Was that Black Spider? Yeah, yeah. Miles. Miles. That's what it was. Miles. Miles Morales. Okay. I, I had a yeah. Black Spider Man, so I just didn't put it on. Dude, you, whatever you do, don't take that out in public. they going to shoot you. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, can, uh, he can wear that anytime. No problem. I already oh, thought about it. Come He's around my house okay. wearing that. I already thought about it. I'm going to go like to Walmart and do like a dance video. You know? hey, mess around and get something <laughs> freaky done to you if you go around her house wearing that. She, she <laughs> freaking kidnap your ass. You won't be seen for six months. The next oh time God. we see you, you're going to be a whole man with a beard and everything. <laughs> mm. she, she can, I do, can I still yeah, do push-ups while I'm kidnapped? Yep. Can I still do push-ups while I'm kidnapped? Yep. Okay, you, you can still do it. You can still do it. Yeah, yeah. You can still go ahead. So, so we talking about Friday night chat. What y'all think about Friday night? Because um, I was under the impression that that um, that that that's that. Sh you know, I don't watch scary movies for one. Let me tell you all why I don't watch scary oh, movies. Oh come on now, yes you do. One, the first reason why I don't watch scary movies is because I'm scared. Okay, yeah, I'm scared. scared. I will scared. jump and break everything in the house just mm -hmm. in one motion. Okay, so we can't do that. Next thing, the next reason why I don't watch scary movies, because I have nightmares. All right, so the nightmare can it can result in one or two things. One thing, I, I would wake up and I would be screaming for no apparent reason. The third thing is I would end up butt naked in the backyard. So we can't <laughs> we can't do that. Man, Tell your wife to record that for me. And she tried one time. Oh, I, 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 I I found the footage and I deleted it. Okay, then the third thing. The third thing, the the oh, the, whole, the other reason why I don't watch scary movies is because um, I don't have time to watch movies. So there you go. That's that's what happens. Is I don't have time. Even when I was little, I didn't have time. In 2011, what the hell was I doing? A uh, shout out to Dave. Real uh, Dave's real said Fright Night is good. It is. That's good. That's because he's white. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I loved God. it. Well, like, I'm a David Tennant fan, so I'm going to definitely mm -hmm. like it. Who is that? I got to see him with his shirt off. Mm. You saw oh, people like, really? how, how many people you ever seen with their shirt off? Not that many. Yeah, all them actors be out there with their shirts off doing I, one or two I, movies. Yeah, but they exactly. not David Tennant. I like the actors on Pornhub. They... 
They, oh, they, they get naked Val. all the time. Val, huh? Val, what? I'm gonna mute you. I mean, I'm gonna mute they, you. They're, they're paid. They're paid actors. Why, they, why they're paid. You? Yeah, they get paid just like the ones on the movies get paid. Yeah, that's right. Not yeah. This is a PG thirteen. What is this a PG thirteen? No, but we're not talking about that. Oh, you we're saying that because of my cosplay? <laughs> that's why you doing that. I'm not stupid. Hey, um, I mean, I could contract you if you if you want. <laughs> you can just come on up here and we could. I'll make our own movie that we could put nah, on like I don't OnlyFans. Do that. You know that. So let's right, go. Just on. Let's go on. I'm and tell your mom when I see him, a field goal kicker. <laughs> Oh my good. 30 years of you flirting. Yes, indeed. So, y'all don't I mean, mind I him. You for 30 years. Yep. I flirt with you when I see you these days because I'll be missing you every single day. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. And my wife okay. said, give it an opportunity. So, She's going to smack you on the booty cheeks. She can do that anytime <laughs> she wants. That's you anytime she wants. She can. Y'all can get off my dang old wife. Oh, oh y'all. See? <laughs> all y'all ladies that have seen that wife of mine, oh, I'm going to need y'all goodness. to back y'all and bust up. Just a tad bit, just a little bit. All right, not a, uh, I'm a mute y'all for real. I just changed the damn stream already. It's over now. You might as well might as well talk about everything else. Yeah, <laughs> down with it. Togepi's like I ain't seen none of these movies. They were trying to get me. I, 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 I just you mad. You know what? You know what? The I funny thing is, I'm a I'm a do this stream, and the longer you make me wait to finish my podcast, the longer it's gonna take for you to go back to your stream. Kick, I love you, man. Thank you I'm very much. Uh, no, I, I mean, go I, past an hour. I, I do an hour because I know you're going to do an hour. I can do all day, baby. Oh, when I don't want up here, I'm going to be. You going to take that damn mask off, boy? Ain't <laughs> 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 hey, your ass tricky, bro. You can't even like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got oh, you the biggest kid Spider Man I ever seen. What, you, what happened to you? You got hit in the head with a couple of backs and your Spider Sense stopped tingling. I mean, what happened? Things happen. You, I can't, you can't you can the Spider Man I've ever seen in this damn. <laughs> Siren Kelly said, uh, David. Siren uh, Kelly said, you, David Tennant is the best uh, Doctor Who. I agree. I agree. I agree. That I too. agree. He was amazing. They need to bring him back. They need to reboot because <laughs> that lady sucked. You click again. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> thank, th- thank you for that, Ray, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right, mods. All right, mods. Um, look. So, so even though, damn, he's like saying whatever he wants to say too. Look at. Hey, I'm not minding for you right now. It's over there. Oh. Though. I just like to. It's a, it's a, what? Are, are we really typing that in my chat today? And my mind is like, yo, we just gonna let it slide and let it slide then. Oh. Oh, yeah. You to hit the flow <laughs> right there. That would have been the most funniest moments I ever seen. <laughs> oh, that my. would fit. That would fit Spider Man though. That was- that was I gotta commit to the right, so Let's leave. Let's leave. Uh, let's, let's let's try our best to leave anything political up out of the chat, please, because I don't want to offend people in that in, in that in that language. Okay. All right. All right. Key cut. All right. Yo, all right. We know get, you have your beliefs. Translator and translate so. that stuff and delete it if it's bad, please. It's so easy. <laughs> Google Translate is free. Well, that's why you use it. This is free. No, I actually I paid for one. It Dude, like your spider looks funny as fuck. <laughs> Why your head so big, bro? I don't know. I got big head. You like a clean on version of Spider Man. I'm going to come what? out here in a furry <laughs> Wait, outfit what? one day. That's what I'm going to do. No, what you said, a clean on version? A clean, uh, a clean on version, like from Star Trek. Hey, you know, if you got the big head. Val, I'm going to come out in a furry outfit one day just for you. Oh, I'm, the, the moment you come out there in a the furry outfit, the moment I go ahead and get the ticket, me and my wife gonna fly down there and put your kids in daycare for six days. <laughs> go ahead, do that. Try me. Right. Try me. Y'all I got heard vacations. Y'all, I heard heard Y'all heard him. I'm telling you, I'm telling you we said we sending your kids to my dad's house. <laughs> it's gonna take a trip of the house for a literal month. Okay, that's it. I, get get I them out have, of here. Get them. No, I get have out. seven computers. 
I have she three do. gaming Six computers Xboxes and four and shit. laptops because my kids homeschool. All this up, one of my kids homeschool. She be doing this shit on purpose, y'all. Do what on purpose? <laughs> she, what she doing right now? She be, she be doing this shit on I'm purpose. I'm dancing to music. Y'all can't hear it. I can hear it. Stop shaking. Stop, stop oh, shaking. I, I saw it. Yeah, okay. I saw if that. you're watching my stream, you can hear the music. Yeah. She was shaking. I, I, I saw that. I saw the team no more I saw it. I got music on. Val, you just can't hear it. She was shaking. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. It said, it said I need your shit up, uh, Peaches. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm mod. I, my actual professional mod, so that's why I have so many monitors. Let's commence to jiggle. I'm modding at least two to four people at one time, sometimes eight. It just depends on how many of y'all get Damn, on. Damn, you got offline? What it may not fit? count for a view for everybody, but at least I'm there trying to make sure y'all safe. I love your face. That's all. I I'm just need your bald head to give me some good luck. That's all. I just need to rub the head. Like. Oh yeah, he Buddha, y'all. He Buddha. That's his Buddha, <laughs> not Buddha. Oh no. The black Buddha. The black Buddha. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Sam. <laughs> he like, oh no. <laughs> you trying to get me to say some shit? You trying to get, you trying to get, a, trying to get, you trying to get a rise up out of me? You about to get that shit? You about to be me and you? I ain't no goddamn black booty. You got to do your research. <laughs> Motherfuckers already black. But look, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. uh, no, man. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get into we, that. That's why. We ain't, why we ain't discussing that. that. <laughs> no, we, we about to go. We about to go straight up racism over y'all. I'm about to pull no, a. No, uh, no, 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 Let's go. All right. First things first. All right. Here we, we gonna get it. Y'all ready? All right. Yeah. Now, let's go. Fright night. Let's talk about Fright the movie night. Roots. Yeah. Talk about the movie Roots. roots. Oh yeah. man. Oh shit. All right. We'll talk about Roots. <laughs> Forget history. All right, say, All right, let's go. I'm ready. Let's talk about the movie Roots. Like, let's talk hot. about. Let's talk about my favorite character, uh, Toby. Toby. Oh, man, man. <laughs> oh don't do Toby like that. Toby ain't doing nothing to nobody. I warned him. <laughs> Y'all can hear him, but I can't. If I can't hear him, the crowd can't hear him. <laughs> hear me, though, so I ain't worried about you. Um, <laughs> hey, I am a businessman, and I would sell energy drinks. Awesome, man. What kind of I think I think Key Kick just be going to F off for no damn damn reason. Uh I think Key Kick hey, just won't just won't, he he want us to hear him. Okay. <laughs> he want us to hear him at this moment in time. So pe out. Peaches, I want you to go over there to oh come over to my chat and I no. want you to pay him some attention. Yeah, come on. He can come to my stream and I, I can talk to him on my stream. Hey, go, to, go to Peaches stream. Peaches will talk to you. Peaches will let you know that you are loved by us. I love, I love hey. everyone, the lurkers and the active alike. Peaches, what you talking about? <laughs> what are you doing? What? I'm dancing. Dancing like that? My legs are Girl, you, it's like you just took an energy drink. I did. Three. Plus coffee. Oh, damn. Oh. You got, you got a little toga pee right there. Like, yeah, let me take this mask off. My head too damn big. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I could have kept it on. You got, now I don't want to get my damn head so damn big. This motherfucker crown don't even fit. Man. No, I would have I kept it on. I would have kept it on. <laughs> nah, it's hot. You got you got me. I can pull this number right here. They didn't get it. Hey, all right. Let's go ahead and do it. Now he want to be a ball player. All there right, we go. Right. Now it fit. I say down, said hut. <laughs> I don't want to talk about all that. Right. That's how I use it. All right, Friday night is about a vampire that moves to a Las Vegas town. And he good kidnaps though, teenage don't children good and feeds them. off of them and turns them into I vampires. I can't hear you anyway. That's a short mm. summary. Um, what do you, you think about it, 901? Hello? Hello? 
Yeah. I would definitely say like like the effect, talk about? uh the special effects was uh fantastic in the movie. Um it's a it's a overall good film. Um I didn't I didn't get a chance to look at the original version, the 1985 version. Um but overall it's just um it's a good movie. Uh it definitely was funny. Um it wasn't <laughs> what I thought it was going to be. Oh, um yeah. After I found out that it was actually a vampire okay. movie, okay. Right. So, it was, it was so what had happened was, what are we talking about? Because I missed it. <laughs> talking about Fright Night. Right. Oh, y'all went back to talking about Fright Night. Yeah, talking about, about you, Peach. Well, my time almost up here. I just wanted to come and say hi to y'all and, and make yeah. sure that you guys are in uh, actually being taken care of. And I saw how good Peaches and 901 the gamer was looking. I had to jump in here and just intervene a little bit. Just be like, y'all spending too much goddamn time. Hey, 901 the gamer, that's Peaches. That's mine. Don't be over there trying to. Don't be over trying to make it have a mind Joe challenge. Y'all already mind for fucking 500 people already. She ain't got no time for me. Hey, go ahead, Peaches. Yeah, Peaches, 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 he tells me on the man and all, and then she makes me back and forth and come over here. And then, um. It's <laughs> It's just going. Right, I'm, I'm gonna get out. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, get out of here. Say, go on, man. I'm gonna go, go, go back to playing some cod, all right? You know? hey, I love y'all. Thank you for having me. So all right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Play me wild, man. Oh my goodness. Play funny. <laughs> okay. Well, this was an interesting podcast. Can, yeah, can, yeah. Do you, you know. have more time, nine oh one, to make up? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, we can get through. Uh, what's that? The Quiet Place too, and uh, yeah. You know. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So, welcome. What about you, Welcome Togi? to Sensei Togo oh, yeah. uh, He just got here. He's chilling. Yeah. All right. He <clears throat> so, I changed over to a different mic, so this might be a little louder than the other one, y'all. I'm sorry about that. No, but, it's all good. Okay, so, uh, when it comes to Friday Night, I did not, well, the vamp, the head vampire was cute, but he wasn't my cup of tea in any movie he's in. I don't even know his name. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of women were going crazy for him back in the day. I think it what is his name? <laughs> uh, is it is it Colin? Uh, hold on, Colin I, or something like he's that. He's not my cup of tea. He's cute though. Okay. Um, but yeah, I watched it only with <coughs> David Tennant. Yo, David Tennant wasn't in it. I, I wouldn't have watched it back in the day. Uh, I rewatched mm -hmm. it again just to get a, a feel for what it was about. Now, I like the backstory. Like y'all know, I always love a backstory. I like how David Tennant went into kind of the backstory of the vampires. The vampire in this one uh so it made me understand the vampire more the problem with the movie was that should have been closer to the beginning if they had made david Tennant like a vampire hunter from the beginning then yeah i would have liked it way more um yeah but because it was more based on like these teenagers and one particular teenager um it was kind of slow paced and boring for me on that on that it was kind of yeah. like a tweeny movie you know um but yeah the last part of it i loved like i love the action later on i like when david Tennant got involved and you know it had a more vampire slayer feel to it yeah um, that was the part i really liked with all the other vampires coming out and it was nice it was not if i had to rate it on a slasher it would be like a one it really wasn't the gore type of movie that I enjoy from vampire movies. It was just, mm -hmm. yeah, just just a one. It was something I wouldn't mind my kids seeing if it didn't have like the the uh, woohoo part. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what that is if y'all play Sim. Yeah. So if it didn't have oh. that part, uh, and in Sims when the couple get under the cover and oh. then they do, yeah. If it didn't have that in it, it would have been something my kids could watch because my kids probably would have been laughing the whole time. Now, yeah. one scene in particular, most people miss, but I'm, I'm a stickler for these details. When the young teenage boy goes and tries to rescue his friend from like the little hidden dungeon area in the vampire's home, mm -hmm. it was 
funny to me where the vampire knew the whole time he was there and mm-hmm. waited till he took the girl outside and she died and he's just there eating ice cream laughing at it in the corner i was like oh my goodness this yeah girl. i didn't even i didn't i didn't <laughs> notice that wow oh yeah when uh you know he locks himself he closes himself off to another one of the little chambers in that little dungeon area behind the mirror uh-huh. yeah, right. yeah 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 when he goes and he rescues the girl and she turns to ash Oh, a, yeah, yeah. They had okay. a little scene where he's sitting there <laughs> eating ice cream or something. He's just like... Yeah. He's just... It's funny. He just let him walk out. Like, he, he knew he was there. Yeah. He was just playing a game with him. It was fun <laughs> for him. So... Now... Yeah, you go. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. That was it. I was just saying that was yeah. the funniest part for me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah overall, like... Like, um, I actually thought it was going to be, like, more, like, horror and scary. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, she was like, you know, it was a like, comedy. yeah, it was comedy. <laughs> it was definitely comedy. And the guy, um, now I can't, so I was watching it at work in the back, you know, just watching it. Uh, now I kind of missed the part when the guy friend, um, is the guy from kick ass. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? I can't yeah. think of his name, but, uh, when he was trying to like, let his friend know in the first beginning like hey man this guy's a vampire um and when i was watching it he became a vampire as well so so did he get well i take that back so he got eight right well he he got bit right yeah the thing was he Uh was hunting him he was a a vampire hunter the little boy oh yeah okay yeah yeah, okay he was a nerd he was picked on at school right and the actual star of the movie was like supposed to have been his best friend in middle school but as a lot of things happened in high school in high school Mm -hmm. he became popular but his friend was still a nerd yeah yeah. they they stopped socializing in school Mm -hmm. and only socialized outside of school so when he tried to tell him hey look there's a vampire in the town and and we have to save the kids he didn't believe him. Mm-hmm. So when he went after the vampire by himself, the vampire called up to him and said, hey, even your best friend doesn't want to acknowledge you. No one likes you. Why don't you just mm-hmm. be one of us? It will be a gift. And he, of course, <coughs> refused, but the vampire turned him anyway, kind of out of spite. Oh, and okay. He okay, just, I missed that part. Yeah, <laughs> if he did it, he, he fell into a swimming pool, and mm-hmm. the vampire came in after him and um, bit him. So he was kind of playing with the kids. He was playing with the teenagers, like, you know, playing with your food. That's pretty much what he did. Yeah. 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 He got off on it. He really did. Um, yeah. Because he, cause, cause when he was trying to, like, date the mama or something like that, mm-hmm. and the mama uh, the mama was, like, fought for him, and the son was like, hey, mom, you know, you know, this guy's this guy's weird. You know, I want you to stay, stay away from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, of course, she didn't. But, yeah. Well, that's all parents. I mean, you never yeah. gonna think, you're never going to think your kid, you know, is actually right when it comes to someone mm. you're trying to date. Well, I guess right, I would thanks. because, you know, I put my kids before myself. But a lot of parents, mm. especially women who are single, you know, they're like, oh, well, they just want me back with whoever, whoever. But, mm-hmm. yeah, no, I, I, I'm going to honestly say my kids run my house in a way because... If my kids don't like somebody, they ain't coming in my house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know? because because definitely like kids will actually uh, kids will actually get you know the that 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 person energy you know mm-hmm. you know especially even, even, little kids little kids it, yeah, who have, don't have yeah, an no, agenda. Just have to say. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they would definitely get that energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Tofi, uh, you want to add something, uh, um, or, or have you seen the movie? Uh, right night no. no okay yes right. i think no i only seen them i only seen like the vampire slayer with jimmy fox in there that was pretty funny oh yeah okay. no this was just the opposite of that this one was no, they, but i, I want to know did the vampire ever brush their teeth did, did this, like, no, I don't think they showed that in this one. They, they didn't have, he didn't have stink bro. Like, did he ever oh, brush his teeth? I don't know. I'm not. Well, I don't. All right, you you might have seen something I missed, did you? Well, no, they actually no, had like clean teeth in this. Yeah. yeah, it was like 
Pretty white I mean, tea. Oh, peach, no. Um, if you could, oh, so, you know, you so I want some fresh whitening toothpaste as well. What, 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 what happened? Some... Yeah, so peaches. Um, you said you give this this movie a one. As the, a the slasher, if it was as for a slasher, horror, okay. For horror, okay. I would I for like a slasher with gore. I would say it's a one. And in one mm. journey, this actual movie. I know you don't like horror. One journey, make it counts in the chat. I would say this was one that you might be able to tolerate because it's almost until the end. There's little to no real actual uh, killing and stuff. Like mm -hmm. it's it's pretty basic. It was it was base for me because I love vampire movies. So this one actually was not the best. Uh, when it comes to just the overall storyline, I like it. I like the storyline. I like the backstory for the vampire. I give it maybe a four. A mm -hmm. four for that. Uh, I think it should have been more adult based, and then I yeah. think it could have been better. <laughs> um, now David Tennant was funny as he could be. I mean, I love that part of it. I think one of my best, my favorite parts though was between the funniest part was when he was up there watching the kid try to save his friend, and the, the friend died anyway. Um, yeah. But then I say. The one part that shocked the crap out of me and did kind of get to me was when, you know, the mom and them were in the car and they were driving down to get away from him. And he just, yeah. just, just a bent hand just comes through the car and then all of a sudden he just looks this whole different form. That was awesome. I love that how he yeah. pushes the car up and then he goes after like the dude that gets out, I guess the rich dude. He's up there, hey, you hit my car, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. like, that's what this movie should have been about. Mm -hmm. If it had been instead like, of yeah, you go. In, instead of you know, you know, I, I feel like they were trying to um, well after like looking at the original 1995 version reviews, yeah. they were actually saying that um, the the 85 version was well actually more horror mm -hmm. than if than the um the second one yeah yeah i agree yeah so for yeah but but for me i would uh i would definitely give it a i would say a seven okay i would say okay. overall seven as a <coughs> as a horror movie or as a vampire film um i would say as a vampire uh, vampire film um okay. but as a scary movie horror I would definitely give it a one as well. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a good vampire movie. It was funny. It was entertaining. I just, yeah. I really love. If it's a vampire, let it be some gore. Oh, I love the gore. Um, yeah. All right, on to Asylum Place. I guess one and two, since we both seen one and two. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, you can get start. Okay. Yeah. So. So peaches, um, so so you are a mom, and you have like little kids. So can you imagine? Well, I don't know if you have like a baby, baby, but uh, can you imagine if you did have a baby, baby? Can you imagine? You know, in in a time like that, you got a baby, and you know, baby just busts out crying any time. Can you imagine uh, you having a baby during that time? Uh, like. Like, how would you feel? I'll be terrified all the time. Mm. I mean, from the beginning of the first movie, where the little boy was playing with the truck and it was just snatched away, mm. my mouth dropped. Oh. I was like, like I, I can't deal with movies where kids are getting hurt. So for that, that one scene, I had to pause the show a second because I didn't see it in the theaters. I saw it at home. I had to pause yeah. for a second and say, wait a minute, did I just see what I think I saw? You, did you really start this out like that? So it took me a second. I had to research the movie before I finished it to realize, okay, that was the proof of point. Um, but yeah, with with the movies, I I don't think I would survive them. I'm going to be honest. Me and my kids, they loud as hell. <laughs> right. My country bumpkin behind would be loud as hell. Like, shut the hell up. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we my family would survive the first wave of them, let alone be able to get mm. to a basement and do. Nah, I I just oh don't God. see it happening. I think I, I think I would survive. I just have to put something on my face 
like uh, something over my mouth so I won't talk, but I seen that movie and like those creatures, them look, them look, they look ugly. I'm like, what the fuck? What they, they did on these creatures just everywhere. They're just taking people out when they talk. Like, what the who? Well, it's actually, crazy, yeah. It remind me of the movie from uh, Stranger, the, the creature from Stranger yep, Things. I'll like with the face you took the little... words out of my mouth it's on the flower, the flower mouth like they just open up damn, it's like have... a yeah. flower almost and it listens it listens to everything yeah it listens like, to you yeah Ooh. um but yeah i felt bad in part two because i actually got i guess they did that on purpose you get this common effect when you see the kids playing on the playground and they're not worried about the monsters because they have the system right. set up and I, mm -hmm. I felt so at peace for a second, and then all of a sudden, wham, here they all come, and I'm like, no! And I was like screaming at the TV in part two where they just leave the kids in the closet. I was mm -hmm. so mad. I was like, you're gonna leave your kids? Stay with your kids. You know, the the, yeah. the, the black guy, he left his kids to go help the dude. I'd be like, never! And he got, yeah, yep. That was like, like that part got me too because like, you know, he was like, hey son, just stay here, you know, I'll be right back. I'll be RB. And the guy goes out and he's standing like, standing towards the window, first of all, where the opening, and he gets snatched. I'm like, come on, man. Naturally, man. that's not and gonna happen. Black come dude. on, yeah, come on. <laughs> Ain't no black man gonna leave his kids to go help you and <laughs> right. your family. Come on. What about son, I'll be right back, son. Yeah, nah, it, I it's like that. I didn't, I didn't see that it, as genuine. That's not real. Yeah, and 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 another thing, Peaches, uh, Togavi, I, I'm gonna say this, like you know, like like you hear the story, you know, uh, the father going to the store getting milk and he never come back home. You know, mm -hmm. that's how that's how the the boy gonna grow up. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, because it it was kind of pointless anyway. Yeah, it, it I mean, was. He, it he was wasted pointless. his life because I mean, was, he wasn't gonna save nobody. It was pointless. It, it, you're right. It was pointless. Uh, so the ending was good. I can say that. Yeah. It it was good to see that, you know, uh, the Delph girl actually saving, saving her family. That was interesting. Yeah. That was good. But I just, I was nerve wracked in the, in the second one where they were locked in that thing. When they were locked mm -hmm. in like the vault area. And they were You're running talking about out the son of, and the baby? Yeah, and they were running out of yeah. oxygen. Yeah. I was uh -huh. nerve wracked. I was like, I don't care about them. Get back to the kids. Get back to the kids. Yeah. I just, I was like, I know I got to watch it all the way through for the podcast again. But you know what? The yeah. first time I watched it. I fast forwarded through a lot of it the first time and just mm. went back to them just to make sure they survived. But when I went back to watch it for the podcast, I was like, oh, okay, this is what all I missed. But yeah, it, that second one kind of got to me. Yeah, and and, and, and another thing, the, the little boy, he, like, when he took the, um, took the cover off the basket and he was looking down at the baby, like, I really don't want to do it, but, you know, I gotta, I gotta try to take you know get some air as well because i want to say he had like asthma right yeah asthma yeah yeah asthma yeah so he was like uh you know i really don't want to do it but you know in order for me to survive and trying to take care of, uh take care of my little sister or you know this baby i'm gonna have to like yeah. remove this and so i can be able to make it as well but i'm happy that his mom came right on time Yeah. But yeah, those uh, those type of movies, they're really good. They get to me. Um, mm -hmm. I I just know for a fact my family would not survive the first wave. We'd be taken out real quick. As much noise be in my house, TVs and gaming <laughs> systems and computers. I mean, the quietest my house has ever mm -hmm. been is today because I got all my kids in one room. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And I said, don't come out till I let yeah. you out. Yeah, but um, I wouldn't. Um, I don't. I really don't think I'll survive too, because like I'm loud. Uh, it, even though it might not seem like it, but like you know, when I get get around like my family, certain certain uh, people, I get loud. Mm -hmm. 
And I remember like when my baby was a little baby, I used to wake up I, I used to wake her up all the time and I, I don't even trying to be loud. It's just my voice carries. <coughs> even though we're not trying to whisper. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, I can understand that. Hey, you know Vala wouldn't survive. Man, <laughs> uh, they take him out quick. But y'all, he would survive. Like you just got, you got to help him survive, Peach. Uh, like, nah, nah, I would put him out there as a decoy and run. <laughs> man, you, you gonna do that, man? Uh, to be well, honest with like you, I, um, I really don't think Toby Feet uh, would survive that. What you mean? I know I survive. I don't I think survive. so. I think as soon as he sees it, he's gonna scream. He's gonna no, be like, ah! no, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to holler at right. my mama. They got, like, they got some people who freeze when they get scared, and they got other people who <laughs> their first response is to scream and run. Okay? No, I, I'm gonna freeze and then oh, I God. scream and run. Yeah. I'm a fake pass out. I'm a oh, oh god. Oh. That's not gonna <laughs> work. I'm not talking, so they, they ain't gonna get me. I mean, I mean, if you say oh shit, you know, it passed yeah, out. You, yeah, yeah, they're they gonna get gonna you. They're still gonna get you. You talk. <laughs> I just want to talk. I, I just first. want to talk. I'll be like, and then once I figure something out, then probably screaming right. So they get me eventually, but that would I be. I mean, like that, you run, you're gonna know it, so they still get me. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand there and I'm just gonna get on the ground. I'm just gonna. <laughs> they gonna sling you around like in part two. At the beginning of part two, they kind of explain how, um, how it started in one. Cause see, one is actually like the middle of it. Cause two actually shows the beginning and the end. So it's kind of cool how they did it. But yeah, where well, they're in the middle of the town and the stuff, they don't know what's going on and these creatures just start attacking. And then one lady, she died because of her phone. See, that would have killed me. It would have been right at yeah. that first point where they attack. That's exactly when my phone would ring. I swear. <laughs> my phone is always on my hill. Like, I'd be like... You get like a notification from Twitter or something like yeah, that. Like, ding, 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 Discord. Ding, ding. I'm dead. <laughs> For no. somebody going live, like Saint going live, viral, you know, yeah. be like, ding, ding, and then I'm dead. Like, be like, darn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um. Man. Okay. So overall, overall, um, I think it was a great horror movie. Uh, definitely focus on building dread through, you know, uh, the feeling of terror. Yeah, I think as a suspense yeah. slash uh, yeah. horror. I must say, <laughs> even without all the gore that I'm used to liking, mm -hmm. I'm I'm still giving it a nine. I'm giving it, give it a, a nine. nine. I'm okay. giving it a nine just because it kept me in a state of suspense and horror throughout. Like you didn't know what was gonna happen next. You were concerned. Mm -hmm. You took right. you had that empathy for the family and for their their situation. And it's kind of like between one and two, it's like every time you think you can relax, something else happens. It kills you, you on like pins and needles like yeah. that. Yeah, like that is to me, I'm say a nine out of a 10, even though it didn't have all the gore factor because I'm sorry, if anybody who's ever stepped on a Lego block, can you imagine stepping on a freaking three inch nail through the foot mm -hmm. when you can't scream? Mm -hmm. Oh no. No, that was in yeah. one. That was in. I was like, no, that, I would be dead. That's all. <laughs> or even, uh, you remember when the boy was like running, running through the, um, mm -hmm. through the uh, like warehouse, and his foot got caught up in a bear trap, you know? Yeah. But he screamed. Oh man, it's like yeah. Both. That kind of movie got to me. Another movie that I would say was equally suspenseful, even though I don't think it it was meant to be, or maybe it was. I'm gonna say it was. Um, I can't even think of the name of it. It was the sequel to The Shining. Oh, The Shining. Yeah. Uh, that that movie's not familiar. Uh, it's the sequel to it. The first I one was with Jack Nicholson. The second, the Doctor Sleep. Oh, the, 
Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. It's about a whole turn, right? It's about what? a whole turn. It makes no, one, no one with kids need it's to dead. watch this movie and think they're going to be okay afterwards. Till this day. Like, there's a scene. I hate to relate. This is a different topic. In that movie, they had a guy, and he leaves the kid next to the lady. And he mm. thinks she's knocked out sleep drunk. And come to find out, the lady had passed away. And the baby died <coughs> of... Um, I, I don't know. Uh, the ghost came back to the the kid who's now a grown man and says, "The people, the neighbors were so used to him screaming when I leave him alone that they didn't come check on him." And then they showed the baby, and the baby's gone. And it's like, so the dude left her there with the baby, and <clears throat> it's his fault the baby didn't make it because he didn't call nobody. So in right. that, it was kind of like. It messed with me, and throughout the Doctor Sleep movie, they were hurting kids. So that whole movie, I, I couldn't get through it all. I had to keep skipping parts. Like that's one of those movies that touched touched my heart. And till this day, it, it it struck a chord with me to the point where even when I go to sleep at night, I leave extra bottles in the fridge and food where the kids can get it just in case. Like it's one of those things. It, it makes you think. Like what if? Yeah. What if something happened? Yeah. Will your child be okay? You know, it, yeah. it brought a consciousness to things. So yeah, if y'all watch Doctor Sleep, uh, if you are a mother and you have children, small children, be prepared to cry. I cried maybe three or four times in that movie. I am very mm. sensitive to children being hurt, so I would say that movie. Mm. Yeah, do not watch it if you're very sensitive, or at least be prepared for it. And if you watch, um. A Silent Place 1 and 2, be prepared for that suspense because the baby is a major character without being a major character. I mean, but yeah, I liked it. I liked yeah. it. It kept me on the edge. Yeah, uh, for me, um, I would I would give it like a 9 as well. If I, would, if I could give it a score, I would definitely give it a 9. I feel like I'm uh, going just because it's like a classic and it's like it's good to see like the remake version of the better graphic yeah. so i can and, give it a give it. and yeah and also uh um it definitely leave it uh it leave the door open for you know for future stories as well yeah it does, it does. yeah so i, like so I would definitely yeah yeah it was overall overall good, uh good move with the, the world surrounding uh, you know, the southern uh, parents and of the, you know, the creatures like coming out of nowhere um, and come to find out they can actually, I want to say they can swim too because, you know, you know, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the neighborhood they was in, the reason why they move across the water was because they couldn't go in the water. Mm -hmm. So... I remember, um, you know, in this scene when he was like looking on the boat, and and here they come, coming out of nowhere. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, I was um, also. <coughs> this is a question. This is a question. Do you think that a silent place should be a game? And also, do you think mm. that um, what was the uh, other one? Uh, Candyman should be a game. Like, cause should Candyman be in Dead by Daylight or have his own game? I would, yeah, I would love to see Candyman be in the game. I would definitely love to see Candyman. I agree with that. But, yeah. And what about a silent I, place? Do you think that could be a, a really good alien killer game? Kind of like a Doom game? Mm, mm -hmm. I... You don't know? It would definitely be a good story game. Uh... I can see it being um I can definitely like a see walking it, dead it, game. I I'm gonna say walking dead since you brought up Doom, I would definitely see it like being a good Doom game. Like That's, you know, you're going around blasting that alien mm -hmm. looking creatures. Yeah, they'll be dope. I, it's yeah. like um Alien Isolation. That's a that's a hard game too just they always yeah. they're, they're always scaring you. They pop out of nowhere. I'm actually gonna play that one. Um, I have it. I just haven't played it. Are you gonna what, see game, what game was that now? Alien, Alien Isolation. 
Oh, oh yeah, I got it on Game Pass as well. Yeah, I haven't, I'm, I haven't I'm played gonna play it. it. I'm gonna play it. Yeah. Um, probably next month I'll play that. I played that in a couple of other oh. games. I don't. I'm not gonna guarantee I'm gonna finish it though, but I will play it. But yeah, I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, anything else you wanna say, nine on one? Cause I know you have to go. No, no, I'm fine. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Um. Uh, you know, I appreciate you. Thank you for having me on your platform as oh, well. No problem, no problem. Yeah. And uh, thank you and for being here. Ace. Nice to meet you. Hey, yeah, Ace, thank how you. you doing? Thank you for coming in. Uh, and Toga P, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you. I showed up. I, I was asleep. I was like, I'm looking for <laughs> where is it at? And I woke up at like 8, maybe 11, and then I passed out. And I'm like, where is it at? And then I popped and I was like, okay, I oh, see it's it. it's okay, it's yeah. okay. I gotta, yeah. I gotta get in there. Oh, you good. Uh, you and 901 gonna have to pick the theme for next time. Because actually, we still haven't finished all our games versus movies we were supposed to do. But we'll handle that later because later, I'm going to try to get um, Allie the Cat in on those. Because, and with you, 901, because, and Togepi, because she is actually really big in Laura Croft. Oh she nice. Loves Laura Croft. Oh nice. When we okay. discuss that, it may not be on a Saturday. I'll find out from okay. her when she's available because she is in the UK. Oh and, yeah. Uh, we'll have to see if we can work around her schedule if it's possible. Mm. And uh have a I'll have a pop up podcast for her. Okay. So if y'all can yeah. be there, I will let y'all know at least a week in advance, right. and then we'll discuss uh, those <laughs> other games that we didn't go through. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah. thank y'all so much. So Toga P, come up with a movie. And I don't want to come up with another movie for next time. The next podcast right. to be in two weeks, and I will two be weeks. playing the movies uh, in my Discord and in Valentine's Discord next week for whatever they decide the movies to be. And uh, all right. I will be notifying people through my Discord. So thank y'all so much for coming out, hanging out with me. I will be raiding out to uh, Vala Saint, who y'all see earlier. <laughs> and uh, y'all have an amazing night. <laughs> uh, amazing thing, day last night. You want to hear my theme pitches? I got a theme. What's your thing? Uh, freshly colored socks. <laughs> I just, that's, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's my theme, chat. That's what I'm going with. Also, also, chat. Thank y'all for coming in. I appreciate y'all so much. And because y'all like the cosplay so much, I will continue to do cosplay throughout the rest of the year. So I'm waiting on some more outfits to come in, and when they do come in, and I will be putting the link to all of my cosplay outfits in my Discord under anime. So y'all check that out when y'all get a chance. Thank y'all so much. Uh, I appreciate y'all. As uh, I apologize for Valor for muting them on a certain point, but there are certain topics that are not allowed on Twitch, so that's why I had to cut it. Uh, thank y'all so much and have an amazing and wonderful Halloween. And I will not be modding mm -hmm. on Monday. Monday, I have a, a costume party to, <coughs> to prepare for, and I have an outfit I need to finish making. So, Monday, I will not be modding. I will be supporting, but I will not be modding that day. So, um, if I do mod for you on Mondays, I'm sorry. I'm taking that day for me and my kids. We're going to celebrate all of my children's birthday on Monday. Because um, I have two children. My daughter made uh, five, October 10th. And my son turned two on October 21st. And we're celebrating it on Halloween night. So, I appreciate all of y'all. Thank y'all so much. And thank you for all the prayers you sent uh, towards my brother Bobby, who's in the hospital. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. He's out of ICU. And uh, I will be in your streams and support as much as possible. And I'll see you in your discords. Thank you so much. And have a great Peace day. Bye-bye. We online? Yeah. Yeah, they can't hear you now.